Chinese New Year. Gong Hei Fa Choi. I'm Kara, and we have an awesome show lineup for you. So let's cut to the chase. The PSP2 is here, called the Next Gen Portable. It breaks what everyone thought it would be an iPhone clone, but in fact, it looks more like a super portable computer. Sony has definitely dumped a lot of effort into making this device the best portable gaming device ever. What are the specs? Hmm, let me see. A 4-core processor with a secret 4-core GPU, front and read touch screen and pad, front and rear camera, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, 6-axis motion sensing, GPS, and yes, the most important of all, 4 buttons, the triangle, square, circle, and the X. To date, it has been confirmed that you can play Uncharted, Killzone, Wipeout Resistance, Little Big Planet, Hustle Kings, and Hotshot Golf on it, and it will only be released end of this year and is expected to cost around 1,050 ringgit. Never ever kidnap the Angry Birds away from their eggs. Even though if you're an awesome looking macaw, don't know what I'm talking about? Okay, you must have heard rumours that Angry Birds is out with a movie, right? Well, it's not exactly true. Instead of a movie, there will be an extension to the game called the Angry Birds Rio, which also coincide with 20th Century Fox's new movie Rio that talks about macaws. Well, they are a type of parrot if you don't know. There will be an additional 45 levels to this version and it is expected to be launched somewhere in March. Alright, there's this new invention in town for those of you who have a license to hold a weapon. There's no official name to it but it counts the rounds remaining in the magazine. Okay, the reason we're telling you this is not because we want you to go get a weapons license but think about it. Wouldn't it be awesome if our army start using this Call of Duty much? If you've been selling World of Warcraft's gold, aka if you're a gold selling farmer, well, you should be receiving an email from PayPal soon that notifies you to stop doing so or your account would be suspended. Blizzard complained to PayPal about these gold farmers, insisting this is an act of selling Blizzard's intellectual property. So stop whatever you're doing and cherry makan another way, lah, okay? Remember two weeks ago we told you about how this boy genius George Hotz jailbreaked the PS3? Well, this dude is now headed to court as Sony is suing him as part of the suit. The court has an all-access pass to his computers. Not just that, he has to basically surrender all of his software, passwords, hardware and everything down to the very last USB stick. Okay, it's now that special segment for you competitive gamers out there. First up, the DNA Amateur Dota Tournament 2011. This is happening on the 19th and 26th of February, where on the 19th, teams will play to determine the top 16. And the top 16 will battle it out on the 26th to see who gets to be crowned champion. Now, this will be happening at the DNA Cyber Cafe in Kapong Metro Prima, and it starts at 9 a.m. There's a 50 ringgit registration fee and SMS your details to 012-210-4136 or email it to eternity8522 at hotmail.com And this one is for you fillers down there in Tangkap. This is the Happy Valentine Dota Tournament that will be happening on the 19th till the 20th of February from 9am to 10pm. There's only room for 32 teams now. For more information, you can log on to laoyat.net and search for this tournament. Alright, that's all the time we have this week. And remember, for all the latest in gaming, check out our website www.fuha.my. There's loads of exciting stuff. I'm Kara Singh, TTYL.